HTBL Baseball is on the air. We bring you game number 28, which is going to be between Baltimore and Seattle. But first, let's take ba- take you back to May 5th in the game timeline and show you how everybody did in their 27th game. It was Tampa Bay 5-3 over the White Sox. Hubble 3-2. and two. Hubble pitches for Tampa Bay. Yes, because he's a New York Giant. And the Giants only have uh, players from San Francisco on their team. And Faber took the loss 1-4. Hanson 1-3. for three. That's Ron Hanson, a homer, his second two RBIs. The Tigers over the Red Sox, 8-3. Bridges, 1-5 over Clemens, 0-4. Colavito, 2-4, for four, two homers, his first and second of the year, and five ribbies. The Yankees keep the runs going. They beat the Blue Jays, 13-9. Ruffin, Ruffing was 3-2. and two. Goes to 3-2 and of the win. Hanky, 0-1 with the loss. Babe Roof, 2-3, for three, a homer, his sixth, and a double. The Orioles 5-2 over the Indians. Palmer 5-1 over Casey 1-1. Boyd 4-4, four for four, a homer, his first in three RBIs. Houston 5-3 over Oakland. Wilson 4-2 over Zito 0-1. Oh Bob, uh, not Bobby Wagner, but Wagner. I think it was Billy Wagner who got his save, and that was save number five for him so far on the year. Atlanta 5 and Miami 1, Maddox 3 and 1 over in Alaska 2 and 3, White 2 for 3 and a double. The Expos 8-5 over the Phillies, Martinez 3 and 2 over Roberts 3 and 3. That was the game you saw last here on the HTBL. Dawson 2 for 4, his fourth home run and 4 RBIs. The Reds 4-1 over the Nats, Walters 3 and 0 over Hahn 1 and 4, Robinson 2 for 3, a homer his 11th. And two RBIs. It was Pittsburgh losing to the Mets 5-2. Matlack 3-1 over Tannehill 1-5. Ron Hunt goes 2-4. for four. The Angels 5-2 over the Browns. They go to 16-11 on the year. Uh, Lackey 3-2 over Davenport 1-5. LaRoche picked up his second save. The Twins 8-4 over the Rangers by 11. 3-3, three and, three, and Mullen loses to go 4-2. and two. Rodriguez, 3-5, for five, a homer, his fourth. The Mariners, 5-3 over the Royals. Rudolph, 4-2, and two. Splithorf taking the loss, 1-3. Rodriguez, 4-5, for five, a homer, his ninth, and three RBIs. The Diamondbacks, 3-2 over the Cubbies. Johnson, Randy Johnson, one for goes to 1-1 one one on the year. Zambrano takes the L and goes 1-2. Whitney, 3-4. for four. The Giants 5-2 over Milwaukee. Kane 2-2 two two with the win. Higuera 1-2 with the loss. And it was Mitchell going 2-3, for three, a homer his first, and three RBIs. The Cardinals with their 20th win, the first team in HTBL play to go to 20 wins. They win 5-4 over the Dodgers. Gibson 5-1. Hershiser 3-1 taking the loss. Green 3-4, for four, a homer his fifth. And two RBIs. And in a surprisingly low-scoring game at Coors Field, the Rockies over the Padres 1-0. Willis 3-1. Randy Jones 0-4. Willis went the distance and struck out 7. If you, uh, We mentioned in our last episode who was leading. We were asking the question, who was leading in stolen base? It is Tim Raines at 16. So we get that question out of the way and we take you to Seattle for our game between the Baltimore Orioles and the Seattle Mariners. Seattle doing very well at 16 and 11. And we take you to Safeco Field in Seattle. I will control Seattle. The computer will control Baltimore. Computer sets the lineup. Langston will pitch for the the M's. Pitching for Seattle, Mark Langston. We'll go. We'll get you through the uh, starting lineup for Baltimore. It'll be Gritch leading off, playing second base. Boyd is your DH, batting second. Singleton and Wright batting third as the phone goes off, and it's Scam City. So let's get you back to the lineup. I think I was telling you about the third hitter, which is Singleton uh, batting third in in, in right field. Ripken is at short batting fourth. Hoyles at first batting fifth. Woodling in left batting sixth. Robinson at third base batting seventh. That would be Brooks Robinson. Brandt 
center field batting eight. Triandos is the catcher batting ninth. Amos Rusi will be the Baltimore pitcher. He can go 150 pitches. Defensively for the Mariners, Bradley a five, and he has a, that's a five range and a three arm. He's in left. Griffey Jr., a seven and a six in center. O'Neal is a six and an eight in right. Bell, a seven at third. Rodriguez, Alex Rodriguez, A-Rod, seven at short. Harold Reynolds is a nine at second. Olerud, a six at first base. Jojima is the catcher, a seven with an eight arm. And pitching him will be Langston, a nine range and an 875 fielding average. Langston, 325 on the year, four and two. 44 and a third is innings pitched, 40 hits and five homers and 19 walks given up. He has struck out 27. His opposing batting average and his whip a little higher than what it should be. And leading off, Bobby Gritch. 263 on the year, three homers and 14 RBIs. Langston, by the way, can go 130 pitches. That's his EPC. The pitch to Gritch. Skied to left, but looks like it's going to go right to Bradley, and it does for the first out. Boyd is Bob Boyd. He's seen 15 at-bats in HTBL play. He is 9 for 15, a 600 batting average. Well, that'll come down with time. A homer and three ribbies. And that's a K. First one in the game for Langston to go to 28 on the season. Ken Singleton, 241, two homers and nine RBIs so far. And this is given a ride to left, line, uh, but Bradley comes in, makes the put out. For Baltimore. Amos, so a 1-2-3 inning for Baltimore in their first. Now let's set the Seattle lineup. Bradley in left leads off. Reynolds at second base, bats second. Martinez, the DH, batting third. Rodriguez, a-Rod, the shortstop, bats fourth. Olerud at first, bats fifth. Griffey Jr. in center, bats sixth. O'Neill in right, bats seventh. Chojima, the catcher, batting eighth. Bell at third, batting ninth. And the pitcher, of course, Langston, who you just saw. Defensively for Baltimore, Woodling, a five and a six in left. Brandt, a five and a six. I'm sorry, a seven and a six. He plays center, but he can also play left and right. Singleton, a 5 and a 7 in right. Brooks Robinson, a 10 at third. Ripken, a 7 at short. Gritch, a 9 at second. Hoyles, who sometimes catches, he is a 1 at first base. Triandos is the catcher, a 6 with an 8 arm. Ruzzi has a 3 range, and his fielding average is 885, so he's not known for his range. A 481 uh, ERA has Ruzzi coming into this start. 48 and two-thirds innings pitched. 44 hits. Only two homers given up. 32 walks. And he has struck out 49. And his whip and his average are above norms. Phil Bradley leads off. 219 on the year. A homer and five RBIs. Here's the pitch to him. Grounded a third. Robinson Hoyles. One out. Reynolds, Harold Reynolds, 252 on the year, two homers and six RBIs. They play the corners in, expecting a bunt. I had no intentions to bunt. Edgar Martinez has an 11-game hitting streak coming into this game. 333, five homers, 11 RBIs. And he walks, so runners at first and second with one out. For A-Rod, 280 on the year, 9 homers and 20 RBIs. One of these guys that can provide instant offense with one swing of the bat. We'll see what happens. Here's the pitch. Hit well to center. Brandt should get to it, and he does. And Reynolds will move to third. Setting up runners at the corners and two outs for John Olerud. 227 on the year, a homer. And eight RBIs, well off of what his pace should be. Ball four, and the base is now loaded. Three walks already for Ruzzi. That gets him to 35 on the season. Ken Griffey Jr., no stranger to the home run, but he's only hit 230 in HTBL play, nine homers and 27 RBIs. And that's strike three, so Griffey strikes out with the bases full. 
So two different innings, but they produced the same results. Baltimore with one, two, three innings. Seattle left the bases loaded with no score heading into the second. And the Iron Man up, Cal Rifkin, 240, three homers and 19 RBIs. Langston on 14 pitches so far. He will deal to the Iron Man. That's ball four. Rifkin aboard with a base on balls. Hoyle's your new hitter, only 125. He's only had eight at bats so far this season, a homer and two RBIs. And, oh, right to Rodriguez. Did they double up Ripken? They do, a double play. So a 6-3, they caught Ripken a little too far off of first. They throw to him, and they double him up. Gene Woodling, 253 on the year. Two homers, five ribbies. And he's on board with a base on ball, so that's two this inning and this game for Langston. Brooks Robinson, 240, two homers and 12 ribbies. To Bell, but he bobbles it, and that's going to allow everybody to move up a base on the error, E5. So Baltimore trying to put together the dreaded two-out rally. Here's Jackie Brandt, 233 on the air, two homers, six ribbies. Strike three called, and that's going to be it for Baltimore in the second. An inning and a half gone by. Neither team has gotten a hit, but we're scoreless. We've seen a lot of action. We've had five men left on. O'Neill, 204 on the year, two homers, seven RBIs, way off his pace. This is a dribbler. Hoyles is going to go to Ruzi, covering first, and that's an out. Kenji Jojima, 211, a homer, three RBIs. Hope you're enjoying game number 28 of the HGBL. We had a lot of delays last week because of some bad weather here in the Tampa Bay area. Where Big Polly's World of Sports Sims is located. So Ruzi dealing to Jojima. Ruzi already had 42 pitches, and that's K number two for Ruzi. Getting him to 51 on the year. David Bell, 255, two homers and 14 RBIs. He's the nine hitter for Seattle. We're in the bottom of the second, actually. So if I said Ruzi had a, was in his third inning, he's only in his second. And he's getting a lot of work. Bell with an infield hit. And that forces Seattle back to the top of their order. Second time through for Phil Bradley, 0 for 1. And something happened there. And put out made at second, and that gets Seattle out of their second. No score heading to the third inning. Gus Triandos, 222 on the year, four homers and 14 RBIs. They'll take care of the uh, first time through for everybody. Grounder to first. Olerud could not find the handle on that, and Triandos is aboard. Second error for Seattle already. And we've just started the third inning. Bobby Gritch back up, 0 for 1. Sharply hit down the left field line for a base hit. Gritch makes it into second with a double. Triandos with his piano legs could not go all the way home on the uh, double from first base. So that's good. It, Baltimore now threatening. Two on, nobody out. Runners at second and third for Bob Boyd. I'm going to play halfway. See if we can force the issue here at home plate. Grounder up the... No, it went to Langston, who throws over to Olerud for the out. First out for Baltimore in their third, and the runners had the hold. Kenny Singleton, who is 0 for 1. We're going to go halfway again. We're going to pitch around. Ball four. The bases are loaded. So now we can put bring the corners in. For Ripken, and Ripken not an official at bat because he walked it inning number two. Ball four, that brings in a bases loaded walk. So Ripken will get an RBI off of that, and we're at one nothing Baltimore. Chris Hoyles, 0 for 1. Same situation here for uh, Seattle. They're going to play the corners in. This is a grounder to Reynolds. Gonna try to get the double play. We're gonna go home. He's safe. 
He's safe, and that brings in a second run, 2 nothing. Probably should have just tried to go for the double play. Woodling, he walked in the second inning. And this is hit well to left. Bradley with the put out. Singleton's got to score from here, and he does to make it 3 nothing. So Baltimore, three runs on one hit. And that brings up Brooks Robinson. Langston quickly up to 64 pitches. Robinson is 0 for 1 today. And that's strike three. So Baltimore gets a crooked number on the board. We've played two and a half. It's three nothing O's. Reynolds, who Baltimore was expecting to bunt in the first inning and didn't, is bunt rating a 10, but you really don't want to play for a bunt when you're behind. Right to Ruzzi over to Hoyles, one out. Edgar Martinez, not an official at bat because he walked in the first inning. He's got an 11-game hitting streak going. Ball four. So that's two walks so far for Martinez. Four on the day for Ruzzi. His total for the season now 36. A-Rod, 277. He's 0 for 1 today. And it's been walk city so far in this game. Ruzzi with his fifth walk. Fats Domino would love this game. I'm walking, yes, indeed. Uh, Olerud walked in the first. And this is a grounder. It's going to be a base hit to left. It's going to bring in one run. Martinez scores from second. And it's 3-1. to one. Rodriguez all the way to third. And Olerud has a, an RBI single. Ken Griffey Jr. is 0-1. for 1. That's a base hit to right. That's going to plate Rodriguez. And it's 3-2. Uh, they're going to hold Olerud at second. Runners at first and second and one out for O'Neill, who is 0 for 1. And you got to think with his batting average and his OPS being what they are, he might be due here. 3 to 2, everybody has scored in the third. And that's a grounder to Gritch over to first to Hoyles, and that's the second out for Seattle in their third. Jojima up. He is 0 for 1. Base hit. No, it was Robinson making a nice play in third at third base. Thought for a minute it was going to get past him, but it did not. And we have played three. It's 3-2 three, Baltimore. Jackie Brandt is 0 for 1. 227 on the year now. And that's going to be a base hit to right. O'Neill scoops that up. That brings up Triandos, who is 0 for 1 so far in this game. And that was a foul ball. And Triandos tried to bunt there, but now with the count 0 and 2, I don't think he's going to try that again. Grounder to first. Olerud will step on first base. That moves Brandt to second. And there's one out. Bobby Gritch is 268 on the year now. He is 1 for 2. Third time through the lineup now for Baltimore. And this is a grounder to Rodriguez. Did he get Gritch at first base? He did, and Brandt moves to third on the play. Bob Boyd is 0 for 2. And this is hit well to right. Can O'Neill get to it? He does. Side retired. We've played 3.5, 3-2 Orioles. David Bell, 1 for 1. Rusey dealing to him. Grounder up the middle. Nice play by Gritch to throw over to Hoyles. One out. You've already had a ton of men left on base in this game. Baltimore at 5 and Seattle at 6. Phil Bradley is 0 for 2. And this is hit. A base hit the left. Bradley went for 2 and got it. Double for Phil Bradley. His fourth. As Seattle is now batting through a third time. Harold Reynolds... He is 0 for 1 with 1 out. I don't think this is a bunning situation. Up the middle, Ripken, two Hoyles. That freezes Bradley. No, he goes over to third safely. So a runner at third with two outs for Edgar. Still looking for that base knock to extend his hitting streak to 12. Let's see if he can do it. It hits him. And there are now runners at the corners. For A-Rod, who is 0 for 1. 
Ruzzi already at 100 pitches in this, the fourth inning. So that bullpen better be on call for the Orioles. Here's A-Rod. And that's another walk. That is six on the day for Ruzzi now. Bases loaded. And Seattle looks like they got a two-out rally going for John Olerud. He's one for one. Triandos and Ruzzi talk it over. Grounder to first. Hoyles will step on the bag, and that'll be it for Seattle in their fourth. Nine men left on base for the Mariners. We've played four. It's 3-2 Baltimore. Ken Singleton is 0 for 1. And he starts the fifth inning with a base hit to center. One on and nobody out for Cal Ripken. And Ripken has walked twice so far in this game. This is going to be a grounder. Great play by Rodriguez, and they get a double play out of it. 6-4-3. Langston now working Chris Hoyles, who is 0 for 2. Grounder to short. Rodriguez, does he have any more magic in him? No, it's an infield hit for the usually slow-running Chris Hoyles. So one on and two out for Gene Woodling. Woodling is not had an official at bat. As he had a sack fly in the third to go along with his walk in the second. Ball four. That's five walks for Langston. So if memory serves, we've had 11 walks in this game already. Reminds me of the game Uncle Ron Jacob did a few weeks ago with New York and Detroit that had all sorts of walks in that. Special hello out to Ron Juckett. He's doing his 1949 World Series as I record this. This 16th day of August 2021 in real life. Robinson, Brooks Robinson 0 for 2. And let's see what happens here. Hit well to left. Bradley with the put out. And that does it for Baltimore. And we're halfway through with the score 3 to 2. In favor of the Orioles. Ken Griffey Jr. is one for two. It'll be Paul O'Neill up after him. Ball four. That sets up uh, Paul O'Neill here. Ruzzi now with his seventh walk, and he's at 115 pitches. They do a calling card throw over to first base, and Griffey was safe. Wasn't really planning to run him there. O'Neill 0 for 2, and now he's 0 for 3 after that K. His, that's Rusi's third of the day to go along with those seven walks. Jojima 0 for 2, and again, another calling card move over to first base. See what Jojima does. And this is skied to left, Woodling with the putout. David Bell is 1 for 2, again, they keep trying to get Griffey, but with no success. Ball four. So that's walk number eight for Ruzzi. That brings up Phil Bradley, who is one for three. Fourth time through the lineup now for the M's. Grounded a third. Robinson, he'll get Bradley coming into first base. Side retired. We have played five. It's 3-2, the O's over the M's. Langston at 103. His EPC is 130. So if you're, al if you're already thinking about the bullpen, and I am, uh, Sasaki is the closer, so you, you don't want to use him. But got a lot of guys who could go a few innings. You got Heft, you got uh, Camp, Rick Camp, and you got Akam. I, Awakuma, Awakuma, and then he got Sasaki. And then, so you got a lot of guys who can go long, should Seattle want that. Jackie Brandt is one for two. He leads off to start the sixth inning for Baltimore. The pitch to him. That's K number four for Langston. So he's at five walks. I think Ruzi is now at eight, so we've had 13 walks in this game. 
I think in Ron's game with uh, Detroit and New York, they had, he had over 30 walks in a game. But that was in 1949 when the when the hitters could draw walks a lot easier than this all-time average uh, league that I have concocted. Triandos 0 for 2. And that's hit well to center. Griffey with the out, out number 2. Bobby Gritch is 1 for 3. He is now hitting 265. He hits lefties a little better than righties. He is average against lefties. Should be 292. Grounder to third. Bell charges. Throws to first. Did they get Gritch at first base? They did. Side retired. Five and a half gone by. It is two, uh, three to two in favor of Baltimore. We've had 18 men left on base in this game, too. Harold Reynolds is 0 for 2. Seattle going through their lineup a fourth time. They played the corners in. It was grounded right back to Ruzzi. Threw it over the first base for the putout. Ruzzi getting a little long in the tooth. He's, he's getting near his pitch count. Edgar Martinez still without a, not an official at bat. He has been he has had a walk in the first, a walk in the third, and he was hit by a pitch in the four, hit by a pitch in the fourth, and he's up again a fourth time in the sixth, looking for that hit that will extend his streak to twelve. And he doesn't get it there as he is K'd. Rodriguez is 0 for 1. And that's an out. Did not see who, where the out went to, but it went somewhere. It was, he popped a short. Okay. So we've played 6. It's still 3 2 Baltimore. And we've been stuck on that score a while. Bob Boyd 0 for 1. Langston at 118. Pitches, that is. O'Neill gets to it. One out. Ken Singleton is one for two. This is sky to left center. Can Bradley get to it? No, it's a home run for Ken Singleton. In fact, that was an upper deck job. That had deceiving height on it. He rounds the bases. And that was number three for Singleton. It went 440 happy feet if you're an Oriole fan. And that makes the score now four to two. Cal Ripken stepping in 0 for one. This popped up. Can Jojima get to it? He can. Out number two. Chris Hoyles is one for three. And that's going to be a base hit, so we're not at stretch time yet. And now we're going to see a reliever here. And let's see who the call is going to go to here. It's going to go to... We're going to go to Rick Camp. Rick Camp coming in. 372 batting average. It's 372 ERA. What am I saying? One save. Nine and two-thirds innings pitch. 12 hits. One home run. Given up five walks. Two Ks. He's had a below average here. Of course, he's famous for hitting that... Um, Home run against the Mets on that July 4 game in 1985, where the game went something like 19 innings, and the score was—I think the score wound up being 16 to 13. But uh, the Braves were down there to last out, and I think Rip Camp—they needed Rick Camp to hit a home run, and he did. <laughs> he had never hit. A, he was the first home run. I think the only home run of his career. So Camp will face Woodling, who's hitting 253 and has not had an official at bat. A walk, a walk, and a sack fly. Two, uh, two outs in the top of the seventh in Baltimore, leading 4-2. to two. Grounder up the middle, Reynolds to Rodriguez. Stretch time. And hello again, everybody. Big Polly 
Bringing you the rest of the, rest of the way home on this 64-degree day at Safeco Field. The wind blowing in at 8 miles per hour. Actually, the wind blowing left to right. So they have opened up the roof here at Safeco. Langston went six and two thirds, just got pulled for Rick Camp, and Rusi still in there with 149 pitches. And that's pretty much how it's been going so far. Uh, Kenny Singleton, as you just may have seen, has hit the only home run in this game. Rodriguez made two great plays in uh, at the shortstop position. Now. Let's see what if Seattle can get back in this game. Olerud is one for two. Rusi staying in even though he is almost at his pitch count. Popped up to the catcher, but Turiandos could not get to it. Rusi has now eclipsed his pass, uh, pitch count, but he stays in. The finishes uh, business with Olerud. That's K number five for Rusi. Eight walks and five Ks. He's had a very busy outing. Ken Griffey is one for two. Skied the right. Singleton will not get to it. A home run for Junior. So they get the home run back, and it's 4-3. Paul O'Neill now is batting average down to 192. He is one for three. He hits righties usually 320. Ruzi has stayed in the game, by the way. Well, we're going to stick with O'Neill, at least for now. And that's hit well to right, but Singleton will get to it. A great play. And there's two outs. Now they make the call to the bullpen and bring in Tim Worrell. Pitching for Baltimore, Tim Worrell. So the Orioles go to Worrell. No ERA so far in 11 innings pitched. He has not given up an earned run. 1-0 on the season. Eight hits given up, five walks, and eight Ks. Doing better than average with a 1.182 whip and a 205 opposing batting average. So it's Worrell, the right-hander, looking at Jojima, who is 0 for 3. Sharply hit, but right to Robinson, and the side is retired. After seven, it's 4-3 in favor of Baltimore still. Speaking of Brooks Robinson, he's leading off the eighth. He is 0 for 3. Camp working his second inning. This is hit well to left. Bradley to the corner, and he makes the put out. One gone. Brant, 1 for 3. Jackie Brant. Camp is seven pitches deep in his, into his EPC of 75. And this is up the middle, right back to camp. He has a 7 range and an 884 fielding average, by the way. He threw the first. Olerud got him. Two out now for Triandos, and Triandos is 0 for 3. He bunted earlier. This is right back to camp. He throws to Olerud. Side retired. We go to the bottom of the 8th. It's 4-3 in favor of the Orioles. David Bell is one for two. Well, he's got a four range and an 839 fielding average, as you could see. The pitch to Bell. Ball four, he's aboard. Not a great runner. His running is about five. We're not in the ninth inning yet, so I don't want to make too many moves. Phil Bradley, one for four on the day. That's a base hit to right field. Bell will go to third, and he makes it. Corners will be in for Harold Reynolds, who, and I'm not bunting him. He's 0 for 3. Worrell will deal. Great play by Gritch. And we're not going to send Bell. Bradley will move to second. They get the out at first. Gritch's only play was the first. Now the infield in for Edgar Martinez, who is 0 for 1. Still looking for that hit to extend his batting streak to 12 games. And he gets it. And this is down the left field line. Two runs will score. Double by Martinez. So his, his, he is now hit safely in 12 games. And Seattle takes the lead at 5-4. to four. Rodriguez is 0-2. Seven doubles, by the way, for Edgar. 
And Rodriguez with a walk. Now we got runners at first and second for John Olerud, who is one for three. And you hear the decree from the home plate umpire saying this is an infield fly. The batter will be out regardless of whether or not Hoyles would have made the catch, which he did. So there's two outs, bottom of the eight for Ken Griffey. Griffey is two for three so far today. He just hit that home run in the seventh inning. Now he's got his, let's see, he has had four plate appearances. So this is his fifth. And that's strike three. So now, can Seattle hold on to the lead? We go to the top of the ninth. It is five to four. They're going to bring their closer in, which is going to be Sasaki. He enters the game. He has a three range, an 846 fielding average. 245 on the year, one loss, four saves, three and two-thirds innings pitch, three hits, three walks, one K. He'll work to Gritch. Bobby Gritch is one for four. And that's K number one for Sasaki. He has two on the season. Bob Boyd started the game with a 600 average, is now down to 474. It's dropping like Joe Biden's approval rating after the fiasco over the weekend in Kabul. Boyd is 0 for 4. Hit well to center. Griffey, two outs. And now the last chance saloon is open for business. And Ken Singleton walks through the door at 2 for 3 so far in this game. He hit a home run earlier. He hit a home run to left center in his last at bat in the seventh. So Sasaki against Singleton, game on the line, and it's a K. We wind the game up with Sasaki getting his second K of the inning and the game. Seattle wins 5-4. to four. Who says I can't manage a home team to victory? So it was Ruzi and Worrell for Baltimore, Langston Camp and Sasaki for Seattle, Camp gets the win, 1-0. Worrell, the loss, 1-1. One one. Blew a save, his first blown save. And Sasaki picks up save number 5. 4-6-0 for Baltimore, 5-7-2 for Seattle. Player of the game, I think would be Edgar Martinez, and I am correct. Hope you enjoyed our 28th regular season broadcast. We do 144 games which is what the season length here is on the in the HGBL. The division winners and a wild card from each league will advance to a 10-team playoff. Might take us a while to get there, but we'll enjoy every step of the way. This has been Big Pauly coming to you, wishing you well. Godspeed and God bless. We'll do it all again soon, and bye-bye for now, everybody.